I've one chopped before, and I feel like I've had a pretty good knowledge of what people's weaknesses become, which I think time stresses. So I'm gonna go in there really, really calm. And I think I have pretty good chances as long as I keep a level head. Well, I have mixed feelings because I'm a three-time loser, and I don't want them to give it to me out of pity. I'm gonna win on my own, but I'm just not sure it's possible. I believe I'm gonna win it all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be able to play backgammon game and win that, also win the, the leg of the cooking contest at the same time. Well, I cut them in two large chunks and they were tender crisp. <laughs> I think it went beyond tender crisp, maybe raw, I think. <laughs> tender raw. Maybe. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that mom has a weakness with time. I don't cook well under pressure. I think the hardest part this year will be introducing new competitors because I don't really know their strengths and their weaknesses or how much better they are at cooking than I am. So we'll see. I've got to size them up. It is a complete unknown because I'm not, I don't think she's ever cooked anything I've had. So I'm not sure what her skill set is. She's not used to vegan cooking, and uh, she's she's playing behind the eight ball already. So looks like uh, everything's pointing to a win this year. I think I do have an advantage as a former champ because um, I've been there. I understand the pressure. Things have been thrown at me that I did not expect. So I think I'm going into it a little more comfortable than I did in the past. And I've already won, so maybe it'll be year two. Well, I have recently rearranged my kitchen, so we'll see. About a month ago, I rearranged quite a few things. I think I'll have a name that will get people's attention. And when it hits their taste buds, they'll know how that name came to be. I think Dad's probably going to have a really clever, clever title for his foods, um, and that might get us real excited until we bite down into it. Oh, the name. You have to start with a name, and then you work from there and backtrack to the ingredients that will make that live up to its name. Man. So you want, you want an exotic name dish, and you want it to taste exotic. The most famous was the Riverboat Nachos, which... Uh, uh, Everybody just, they couldn't get them, they cleaned their plates and were looking for more. As the judge, I will be looking for creative use of the mystery ingredients. Every contestant will have three mystery items in their basket, the same for both contestants in that round. Um, so I want to see those ingredients used creatively. I will be judging for appearance. And so the plates need to be well put together and thought out. I don't want to see stuff just thrown onto the plate the last minute. You've got plenty of time to make a very beautiful dish. Um, and it's got to taste great. I want lots of big, bold flavor, balance. Um, I, want to, I want to be eating good this weekend. And I, I'm hopeful that our, our four contestants are going to bring it.